Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. I cannot believe that we are already at the end of another month and that means it is time to talk about my empties. If that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching. As I have done in the past, I will try to keep each category separate. So I'll have the hair care items, the skin care items, and the makeup items. And then at the end of all of this, we're gonna talk about what came into my collection. I do not have the prices of these items in front of me right now, but I will look them up and put them along the bottom of the screen as we are talking about them so that we can keep a nice running total and try to figure out maybe by the end of the year how much value of things did I finish this year because I've already got my January and my February and they were some pretty high values but I will chalk that up mostly to BoxyCharm items being quite expensive. I'm going to go ahead and start off with sort of a miscellaneous category and then I'm going to move into skincare, hair care, bath and body, etc. from there. But this first miscellaneous category only has three items. One is this brush cleaner from Shop Miss A. I have finally finished it. These things take me a very long time, mostly because I forget to use them. Because when I actually do use them, I do a good dousing of my brushes and I use a considerable amount of product, but I just forget to use it. The second was another Shop Miss A product. I am finally retiring this poor little sponge. It is time for it to go. I think it lasted me two months maybe, but it's getting to the point where it's got little dings and little pieces of it have come out. I'm not even sure if you can see that. And even when I wash it, it's not getting back to its normal color. And the third thing is this here is another pack of baby wipes. I have so many of these from when my babies were, um, you know, babies. Now the youngest one is five. Um, but I do generally use these for when I'm doing swatch videos or to wipe down my vanity. I am, don't use these to clean my face. These, I, no. Next category is going to be bath and body. So that's going to be including things like soaps and deodorant, um, toothpaste, because I actually have one of those. So first off, I'll just talk about the toothpaste. I got this little charcoal toothpaste thing here. I found this quite interesting. I haven't had a charcoal toothpaste before. This one I just got at the dollar store and it was black, which was probably the biggest thing because my husband refused to use it because he's like, I don't like that. I don't think he ever tried it, but I, it worked fine. I just, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that again. I have two deodorants here. I finished off my native deodorant. This one is the Sweet Peach and Nectar. This was a special scent from last summer. And as you can see, I like dug that out because these are expensive. I want to get every last drop out. I really like this I one. I do think I will be purchasing more from native once I get through more of my deodorant collection. And now they even have like cardboard packaging instead of plastic. So I'm super excited about that. Here is a deodorant that has been living in my collection for quite a while and is this Old Spice Fiji. I really like the scent on these. I don't know. I'm must be weird, but I really love this one, And but it took me for forever. I mean, you see how huge it is. So I'm finally glad to have this one Just finished. a few more Bath and Body items. I do have this little hand sanitizer that I finished that was in my car. I, it takes me a very long time to finish these up because usually I'm going to use the hand sanitizer that's available wherever I'm at. I like to wash my hands rather than using hand sanitizer when I'm at home. And of course, when I'm at work, we have hand sanitizer on the wall like every 10 feet. Next thing is a... Um, what is this, a shower gel? It was from one of those holiday gift sets from Walmart that they have around the holidays. It was fine, it took forever to use. It was 16 ounces and when you pump it out, it only gives you like a little, a little drip. So it took a long time to get through this. I don't think I would repurchase it just because it wasn't my favorite. And then no empties would be complete without a couple of these. I did finish up two of these. I guess one was like on its last legs and then I went through one, but I have two Bath and Body Works Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel one. This one is the Beautiful Day. This one smells amazing. This one smells warm and cozy and perfect for winter. This one's perfect for spring and summer. I think I'm going to really miss these once I stop, you know, don't have any more in my collection because I'm not planning on purchasing more of these as of now, but yeah, I think I'm gonna miss them. Hopefully Blue Land or whatever this company is called that's supposed to be able to give the little tablets that do what these do will be just so as good. So far, three miscellaneous items and seven bath and body and hygiene. So we have 10 empties. Next, we're gonna be talking about hair. I only have two and these I bought this month and also used up this month. They are little Freeman hair masks. They were little sample sizes that I got at the dollar store. I have, I put them into a tub and then I used them. It only gave me a few uses. 
but I just kind of wanted to get in the habit of seeing if I liked using a hair mask before buying a full size one. One was the smoothing jojoba oil and the other one was a nourishing chamomile. I just mixed them together because I figured, hey, these are both good things. Let's use both of them. So I did end up liking using a hair mask. I did purchase one at the most recent BoxyCharm add-on sale. I'm not sure when that's going to show up, but I have a full size now that I'll be able to work through. A little bit more exciting. We're getting into the skincare, second to last category here. So I have two items that are from subscription boxes. One is the Gold Fadden MD Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. I'm pretty sure this is a sample size that I got from a regular Ipsy bag at some point just because it is so small, but I enjoyed it. At first I thought it was an eye cream because it is such a small little thing, so I would just take out a little dab and I'd like put it under my eyes and I'm like, this isn't doing as much as I wanted it to. And then I read it closer and I was like, oh, and I started putting it around all over my face and it was working better. The other one is the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Pore Purifying Mask. This one smells like strongly of like menthol and weird mint. It is interesting. Like it comes out looking one way and then you start smoothing it in and it like changes colors and then it kind of dries down and smells weird the whole time. I emptied one of these before, so I knew to expect that I would not buy one of these on my own, but I'll use it if I end up getting one in a boxy charm or something. So I did finish two lotions this month. One is for my body. This is the Napa Valley Sunset Scent from Bath & Body Works. I liked this one. I feel like I finished another one of these before a while back because I had two. I don't think I have any more of this scent anymore, so I'm glad to be done with that. The other lotion was one for my face, and that is this Lacura. Face Care Q10 Day Cream. I got this from Aldi and I am very happy to have finished this one. It was fine. It didn't do anything magical, but it also didn't irritate my skin. It kept me moisturized, so I liked it. It was it was fine. So next, I finally finished the last pack from this here. These are the Green Tea Hydrogel Under Eye Patches. So I finished the last one from this pack, so I'm going to finally go ahead and include the value of this in here because I didn't want to split it up. Same story as always. I feel always really strange when I have something stiff under my eye, but I like the scent. It feels cooling and it feels soothing, so I like them. I may get something like this again. If I get it in a BoxyCharm or something, I'll definitely use it. I just don't know that I would remember to purchase something like this. And I did finish up another soap. This one is Zum Bar. I think I finished one from this brand before. This is a goat milk soap. I think we got it from a farmer's market that was local, so I'm not even sure if this is something that anybody else can, you know, acquire. But I liked it. It was nice. They're very soothing. The one I'm using now is, like, I think the other one from that I have from this brand, and it's very soothing and lathers up really nicely. I do like them, so I will kind of miss them when I run out, but maybe I'll be able to find something similar. Two skincare items left. One's exciting to me and one's not quite as exciting. The not exciting one would be the toner. I have a ton of these and I just go through this. I use it every day and it kind of in place of the ordinary glycolic acid toner. I've been using this just because I have a backup of these and once I finish them all, hopefully I will be able to go back and get the glycolic acid toners again. There is glycolic acid in this, which is why I'm going ahead and using them in that place before I purchase things. So yeah, I finished it and it, it works just fine. The one that's exciting for me, which probably isn't all that exciting for other people, but it is this one here. It's the Beauty 360 Deep Action Facial Cleanser. And the reason this is exciting for me is because it takes me so, so long to finish facial cleansers. I only really use them once a day. I use one pump and I don't use a ton of it. What I do is I do kind of that double cleanse. I will first put on my cleansing balm. I'll rub it all in, kind of let it kind of work its way in there. So once the cleansing balm has kind of been sitting for about maybe 10-15 seconds doing its work, then I will put a pump of the Tula foaming cleansing thing that I have, plus a SA cleanser, which this right now is the SA cleanser that I have, and I will lather those ones up and then I will kind of wash and rinse everything off for the second step of my cleansing and it takes me so so long because I only use a little bit so I'm so excited to have finished this. I am working on another cleanser right now that I feel like is going to take me months and months but I cannot wait. The Tula cleanser, there's no end in sight. So that was another 10 empties, two that were hair care and eight that were skin care. So now I get to move into the most exciting piece which is the makeup empties. And ironically enough for my makeup empties, I'm looking at the little basket here and there are 10 products in here as well. So wait around everything out. That's 30 empties for this month. Start off with the nail polishes. I have this Believe Beauty nail polish in the shade Girl Talk. It's just this very soft pink shade that almost looks kind of beigey. 
Uh, I mean, these always look like there's a ton of product left in them whenever there's, you can't use them anymore. But I liked this one, but it wasn't my favorite because if I used it for more than one manicure in a row, it would start to like dry out my nails, make them chip. This one here definitely looks like there's a bunch of product left in it, but I cannot use it anymore. It would make whatever is underneath it start to like melt and be not dry anymore, even if it was dry. So it was really pretty and I loved it, but it's, it's, it's done. Then I have some lip products that I'm pretty excited about. I think they were both in projects. One is this little e.l.f. clicking lip gloss thingy and it was in the shade Pink Lemonade, though it doesn't look like any kind of pink lemonade. Uh, the other one was the Buxom lip plumping polish, whatever they call it, in the shade Celeste. I have one more of this size, so I'm very excited. I'm working on that one right now. It's probably about halfway done, so maybe next month I'll be able to show that one to you. Then we have a little mini Too Faced mascara here. These ones are very hit and miss for me. Like sometimes when I put them on, it'll be like, oh, look at all that nice, beautiful volume. But most of the time, after a few hours, I start noticing it smudging under my eyes. So I'm not as in love with this anymore as I used to be. So once I figure like it starts smudging, maybe I'm thinking that the formula is getting old or dried out or it's not good anymore so that's when I get rid of them because they sometimes they'll start off for the first few weeks and they'll be fine and then they start being like Bleh. all right so the last ones I'm actually quite proud of these are all complexion products so I do have three concealers here so this one here is got the double ended here so we have a darker concealer a brightening concealer and this was from a subscription box the billion dollar brows this was in my partners in cream project pin I believe I have this here, this Revlon Candid. As you can see, I cut this open and <laughs> there's a little doe foot sticking out. And I used as much of this as I can. Look at that beautiful emptiness there and in here as well. So I was super happy to finish this and one. And the last two products are foundations. I did finish them. I think both of them were in projects, but the first one is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. And you can see all of that windowing. I scraped it all out the best I could. It is so done and I'm so glad to have that done like I like this one for the first hour that it's on but then I start getting really dewy so I would always mix this with something to kind of keep that shine at bay and help it prevent from breaking up so much so I'm not gonna buy that one again the other one is one that I usually mixed it with to make it better it is the it cosmetic CC cream and I did cut this one open got all of that nice juicy goodness out of there because this one is one of my favorites I am hoping that some of the new CC creams from the drugstore that are coming out are good dupes of it because this is pricey. That was 30 empties total, which averages to about one empty per day, which is kind of wild when you think about it, but I know it's gonna slow down once I start getting easier things out of my collection and I'm just using my favorites and I'm definitely starting to choose items that last longer versus ones that I just can get through really quickly because I hate having to go out and buy more things these days. But hopefully we'll have been able to figure out the prices of those things and I will have the price of everything added together down here somewhere so that we can add that to my running total for the year. So now for the second part for the video, we did the empties already. The next piece is what came into my collection. And there were two chunks already that you know about. And one is my BoxyCharm unboxing for March and I will have that link down below if you're interested in seeing what items I got. The other thing that I've already shown you guys is super exciting because it's never happened for me before, but it was a giveaway that I won and I got the end um, to unbox that on film and I shared the goodies that I got in that one so those are going to be linked down below and you can check them out if you would like to see them I'm just going to be showing you things that I have not shown you very already. early on in the month I did make that Dollar Tree run two of the things that I got were those little hair mask samples that I've already finished the third thing was this little retinol cream that I was super curious about I probably shouldn't have gotten it but I did anyway I am working on it I don't notice that it's irritating my skin. It's nice and moisturizing, but I'm working on that, but I did purchase that this month. I got my boxy add-ons or boxy pop-up or whatever it was finally came in this month and I did get the two pharmacy very cherry, here we go, cheer up cherry eye creams because I am running low on the eye creams. And then the third thing that did come in that um, order was my little Natasha Denona five pan palette number nine. I don't know though, this one does not look like the other ones that I got. It's all crooked in there and it's got this weird packaging. So I'm not 100% convinced what is going on with this, 
but I tried one of the shades. You can kind of see where I stuck my finger in there. Like, it's beautiful. It's like liquid metal, so I guess I'll still use it. I can't get them out of there, though, because these ones aren't magnetic. They're glued in, which is another reason. I'm like, what is going on with this one? It's kind of weird. Also, quite early on in the month on my CVS app, I did get a coupon for a free beauty item under $5, so I did pick up a clear nail polish because I am not in love with the Beauty Pie clear nail polish that I have. It just feels like that takes forever to dry or kind of melts whatever underneath it so it's not dry anymore so I'm gonna try this here the LA girls gel polish and here's my little receipt so you can see proof I paid zero cents for this so that's kind of exciting the next one I was a little bit naughty there were a lot of ladies on the Jen Phelps Facebook group that were showing off their makeup geek uh, mystery bags that they got and I had been eyeing that and eyeing that and I was just so like I wanted them so bad because you guys know I am in love with my magnetic singles and I finally did. I jumped on that and I got that. So here are the magnetic eyeshadows that I got from this. There are several still that I'm not showing because they, there were a few duplicates that I got and I'm just passing them along. They're not going to enter my collection, but I did get seven new shades. I got some blues, I got a pop of coral, I got that purple, and then some neutrals at the top. So I am pleased with the eyeshadows that I got. I also got this little actually quite large contour shade here i don't know that i know how to contour or even if this is a appropriate color for me i bet if i'm light-handed and blend it out then i will do it but this will be fun to do some learning with but maybe not surprisingly to you guys the thing that was most exciting to me about that order were the two little magnetic empty quads that i got i am so excited to play with my magnetic singles and I just love the format of these little quads here. Those are so super cute. I have been following a gal named Elaine, and she does a quad of the month series, and I got these in the mail, and I was like, oh, I wanna join. I wanna join her club of quad of the month. So I may be doing some kind of quad of the month kind of videos at some point, just because that's a nice little fun, low pressure way to play with my magnetic singles where I would just put a quad together and maybe do one or two looks and just show you gals and just, just play. Basically, I mean, that's what it's about, right? Let's just play. Last thing that I got this month was an order from Sephora. I did get a replacement of my oat cleansing balm. I have not finished it quite yet. There's probably about this much left. Maybe it's a couple weeks, maybe it's a couple days. I don't know, it's hard to tell just by the way the packaging is, but I don't want to be without a cleansing balm even for a day because I do not like the way just straight soap takes makeup off my face. So I'm super excited to have this in backup. This is the only other cleansing balm I have in my collection that I have purchased. But I really enjoy ordering from Sephora when I do because I hardly ever do it because you always get little freebies and I was able to use some points. So I used 100 points to get this. The Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm, and this is my favorite cleansing balm ever, so I am so excited to have this back in my life, even if it's only for maybe a week. I am so happy to have this back. And I also, as my little samples, I picked a cleansing balm, yay! Like, I don't wanna be without a cleansing balm, you can see that, right? So I got this little Belief Beauty Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. It's got like two milliliters in here, so this might only be like two days worth, but I'm super excited to give this one a try. And the other sample that I got, oh my gosh, you guys, look, look what they gave out. It's this little um, 7.5 milliliter sample of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, which I love and it's so expensive and I would hate to purchase, but getting it as a free sample kind of makes me a little excited. So I will be adding just like, opening this up and dumping that into the little tub that I have of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream once there's enough room in there. So I am super excited to have this, especially as we're getting into spring There is summer. one other category of things that I got in this month and they are not things that I got in a giveaway or a subscription box or that I purchased myself. These are goodies that, you guessed it, my husband got for me. And just to start off, he got me the Bambi collection of the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, like all three of them. I have not used any of them yet. I'm super excited to play with them, but he got them for me on the day that it launched. I guess he's been getting the emails now because he knew that it was coming and he got them for me. So I have a bunch of new eyeshadow palettes to play with, but these are so cute. Like, let me open up, especially the purple one. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, look, look at that. Especially that middle shade. It just kind of draws my eyes right there. I want to play with it. And Thumper, too. Like, this one is gorgeous. Like, the cool tones plus that really pretty kind of green and pink. Like, this one is so beautiful for spring. And the Bambi one. Let me open that one up as well. I'm just going to open them all up because why not? 
This one here is like a little mini edited down version of the Naked Honey. Like look how pretty that is. And of course, even though they got different shapes to the pans, these are all magnetic as well, which you guys know I love. Also pretty early on in the month, my husband was going to uh, Ulta to pick up some Hustle Butter. It's a special moisturizing balm cream thing that he uses for his tattoos. So he asked me if there was anything that I was running low on that I would like for him to pick up for me. And I just kind of said, yeah, I would like some more of those Tree Hut, um, what do you call them, Shea Sugar Scrubs, because he did get me the original ones that I got and he got me two. I showed him this scent that I wanted and I guess he picked up a second one too because he's like, oh, one's not enough. So he got me these two. I am getting close to being done with the only one that I have left. So it's gonna be, it feels pretty nice to have these. And I've never used either of these scents before. This one especially, I am so excited to use. It smells so good. I cannot wait to just have my whole shower smell like this coconut lime. Oh my gosh, it smells good. And if that was not generous and sweet and thoughtful enough, I was having some pretty rough days between work and getting the kids, doing all their homework and virtual classes, I was pretty beaten down. He went out to Ulta and got me a gift card. It's not in here, I've already put it in my wallet so that I can use it whenever I feel like it, but he did get me a very generous gift card to Ulta. So that is it, that is everything that has left my collection as far as empties and everything that has come into my collection as far as being purchased or gifted to me. And I am a little nervous to look at the numbers when the collection update video is coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits. And if you've not already and you enjoy makeup content and project panning and empties and things like that, you, I would appreciate it so much if you would consider subscribing and I hope I can see you guys in the next one. Bye.